This song was written by a man from Glasgow called Adam McNaughton. Now Adam McNaughton was a school teacher. And like school teachers the world over, including myself, sometimes kind of getting the little buggers to appreciate culture was a kind of uphill struggle, you know? And he was teaching Shakespeare. And, you know, they weren't getting it at all. So he decided what he would do, he would write a synopsis of the play of Hamlet. So he managed to condense the whole play of Hamlet into three verses, <laughs> with all the good bits left in. And so I'm going to sing it, just to finish tonight, I'm going to sing that to you now. <clears throat> it goes like this. Oh, the king, he was sitting in his garden all alone, when his brother in his ear dropped a wee bit of henbane. Then he stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow. But the dead king walked in, got his son, and said, Hey, listen, kiddo, I've been killed, and it's your duty to take revenge on Claudius. Kill him neat and clean and show the nation what a fraud he is. The boy said, right, I'll do it, but I'll have to play it crafty so that no one will suspect me. I'll pretend that I'm a dafty. <laughs> so, with all except Horatio, his beloved trusty friend, Hamlet, that's the boy, pretends he's round the bend. And because he wasn't ready for obligatory killing, he tried to make the king think that he's tuppence off the shilling. <laughs> Took the Mickey out Polonius, treated poor Ophelia vile, told Rosencrantz and Guildenstern that Denmark's bloody vile. Then a troop of travelling actors, just like 784, arrived to do a special one-night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet, acting balmy. Hamlet, Hamlet, loves his mammy. Hamlet, Hamlet, hesitating, wondering if the ghost's a cheat, and that is why he's waiting. So, Hamlet wrote a scene for the players to enact, while Horatio and him would wait to see if Claudius cracked. The play was called The Mousetrap, not the one that's running now, and sure enough, the king walked out before the scene was through. No, Hamlet knows that Claudius was the one that gave his dad the dose. The only problem being now that Claudius knows he knows. And when Hamlet told his mother that her new man's not a fit one, Uncle Claude put out a contract with the English king as hitman. <laughs> and when Hamlet killed Polonius, the concealed corpus delecti was the king's excuse to send for an English hemp and necktie with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to make sure that he got there. But Hamlet jumped aboard and put the fingers straight on that pair. When Laertes heard an old man had been stabbed through the arras, he came running back to Elsinore, took sweet hot food from Paris, and Ophelia with her dad killed by the man she meant to marry. After saying it with flowers, she committed Harry Carry. <laughs> Hamlet, Hamlet, nay messin'. Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, Yorick's crust. Convinced him that meant good or bad, at last must turn to dust. Then Laertes lost the place and was demanding retribution, but the king said, hang on there and I'll provide you a solution. So he arranged a sword fight for the interested parties with a blunted sword for Hamlet and a sharp sword for Laertes. Then, just to make things double sure, the old belt and braces line, he arraigned a poison sword tip and a poison cup of wine. The poison sword got Hamlet, but then Laertes muffed it, for the stupid bugger stabbed himself and confessed before he snuffed it. <laughs> then Hamlet's mother drank the wine, and as her face turned blue, Hamlet said, Oh, I can see the king's the baddie now. Licentious, treacherous, damned Dane, he said to be precise, and made up for hesitating by killing Claudius twice. Then he said the rest is silence, that was Hamlet had his chips, made Claudius confess and poured the wine between his lips. They fired a volley over him that shook the topmost rafter, and fought in brass knee deep in Danes lived happy ever after. <laughs> Hamlet, Hamlet, oh the gory, Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story, Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm away. If you think this song is boring, you should read the bloody play. <laughs>